Good morning, brothers and sisters. Welcome to the Minor Basilica of Our Lady of the Rosary of Manawag. We will now pray the Holy Rosary. Please kneel. O sacred feast, in which we partake of Christ, His sufferings are remembered, our minds are filled with His grace, and we receive the pledge of the glory, which is to be ours. You give them bread from heaven to be their food. And this bread contained all goodness. Let us pray. Lord, Lord Jesus, Jesus Christ, you, you gave us the Eucharist as the memorial of your suffering and death. death. May your worship of the sacrament of your body and blood help us to experience the salvation you want for us and the peace of the kingdom where you live with the Father and the Holy Spirit, God, forever and ever. Amen. The angel of the Lord declared unto Mary, And she conceived by the power of the Holy Spirit. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Behold the handmaid of the Lord. Be it done unto me according to your word. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. And the Word was met flesh, and dwelt among us. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Pray for us, O Holy Mother of God, that we may be made worthy of the promises of Christ. Let us pray. Pour forth, we beseech you, o Lord, your grace into our hearts, that we, to whom the incarnation of Christ your Son was made known by the message of an angel, may by his passion and cross be brought to the glory of his resurrection, through the same Christ our Lord. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Lord, open my lips, and my mouth shall declare your praise. God, come to my assistance. Lord, make haste to help me. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now and will be forever. Amen. Let us meditate the glorious mysteries. The first glorious mystery, the resurrection. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. 
Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now and will be forever. Amen. The second glorious mystery, the Ascension. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. The third glorious mystery, the descent of the Holy Spirit. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. 
Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now and will be, forever. Amen. The fourth glorious mystery, the Assumption of Mary. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, 
and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. The fifth glorious mystery, the coronation of Mary. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now and will be forever. Amen. We fly to your patronage, O Holy Mother, Mother of God. God despise, despise not our petitions and our necessities, but deliver us from all dangers, O ever glorious and blessed Virgin. Queen of the Holy Rosary of Manawak, pray for us. That we may be made worthy of the promises of Christ. Let us pray. O God, God whose only begotten Son, by his life, death, death and resurrection, has purchased for us the rewards of eternal life. Grant, we beseech you, that meditating upon these mysteries of the Holy Rosary, of the Blessed Virgin Mary, we may imitate what they contain and obtain what they promise, through Christ our Lord. Amen. Behold the faithful and prudent steward, whom the Lord has set over his household, the Lord has shown him his love and covered him with glory. He has clothed him in splendid garment. Let us pray. Father, you entrusted our Savior to the care of St. Joseph. 
by the help of his prayers, may your church continue to serve her Lord Jesus Christ, who lives and reigns with you in the Holy Spirit, God, forever and ever. Amen. Jubilee prayer for the golden anniversary of the Dominican province of the Philippines. O God, our Father and Creator, in whom we live and move and have our being, we praise you as we gather in gentle grace and gratitude on this Jubilee of the Dominican province of the Philippines. O God, the Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, we preach you as the way, the truth, and the life, whose name we proclaim, whose love we strive to incarnate. O God, the Holy Spirit, Advocate and guide, we bless you, and seek the outpouring of your presence in the witness of our words and works, in the consecration of our lives to holy preaching, in speaking only to you and about you. Let our celebration be filled with fidelity to our mission, with hope for your promise, and with true charity binding us all in the gospel we share with all peoples. By your will, O God, in your name, O Lord. Amen. Amen. Our Lady of the Holy Rosary, pray for us. Our Holy Father, Saint Dominic, pray for us. Please be seated for a while. Good morning, brothers and sisters. Welcome to the Minor Basilica of Our Lady of the Rosary of Manawag. Today is Wednesday in the second week of Lent. We will now have the morning prayer of the Church, integrated with the celebration of the Holy Mass. We invite you to actively participate in our prayers. Please stand. Lord, open my lips, and my mouth shall declare your praise. Come, let us worship Christ the Lord, who for our sake endured the temptation and suffering. Come, Come let, let us worship, worship Christ, Christ the Lord, Lord who, who for our sake endured temptation, temptation and suffering. The Lord is at the earth and all its fullness, the world and all its peoples. It is he who set it on the seas, on the waters he made it firm. Come, Come, let us, us worship, worship Christ, Christ the Lord, who for our sake endured temptation and suffering. Who shall climb the mountain of the Lord? Who shall stand in his holy place? The man with clean hands and pure hearts, who was desires not worthless things, who was not sworn so as to deceive his neighbor. Come, Come let, let us worship, worship Christ the Lord, who for our sake endured temptation and suffering. He shall receive blessings from the Lord, and reward from the God who saves him. Such are the men who seek him, seek the face of the God of Jacob. Come, Come let us worship Christ the Lord, who for our sake endured temptation and suffering. O gates, lift high your heads, grow higher ancient doors, let him enter the King of glory. Come, Come let us worship Christ the Lord, who for our sake endured temptation and suffering. Who is the King of glory? The Lord, the mighty, the valiant, the Lord, the valiant in war. Come, let us worship Christ the Lord, who for our sake endured temptation and suffering. O gates, lift higher heads, grow higher ancient doors, let him enter the King of glory. Come, let us worship Christ the Lord, who for our sake endured temptation and suffering. Who is he, the King of glory? He, the Lord of armies. He is the King of glory. Come, Come let, let us, us worship Christ, Christ the Lord, who for our sake endured temptation and suffering. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Come, Come let, let us worship Christ the Lord, who for our sake endured temptation and suffering.
Please be seated. O oh God, all your ways are holy. What God can compare with our God? I cry aloud to God, cry aloud to God, that he may hear me. In the day of my distress, I sought the Lord. My hands were raised at night without ceasing. My soul refused to be consoled. I remembered my God, and I groaned. I pondered, and my spirit fainted. You withheld sleep from my eyes. I was troubled, I could not speak. I thought of the days of long ago, and remembered the years long past. At night, I nursed within your, my heart, I pondered, and my spirit questioned. Will the Lord reject us forever? Will He show us His favor no more? Has His love vanished forever? Has His promise come to an end? Does God forget His mercy, or in anger withhold His compassion? I said, This is what causes my grief, that the way of the Most High has changed. I remember the deeds of the Lord. I remember your wonders of old. I muse on all your works and pondered your mighty deeds. Your ways, O God, are holy. What God is great as our God? You are the God who works wonders. You showed your favor, power among the peoples. Your strong arm redeemed your people, the sons of Jacob and Joseph. The waters saw you, O God. The waters saw you and trembled. The depths were moved with terror. The clouds poured down rain. The sky sent forth their voice, your arrows flashed to and fro. Your thunder rolled round the sky, your flashes lighted up the world. The earth was moved and trembled, when your way led through the sea, your path through the mighty waters, and no one saw your footprints. You guided your people like a flock, by the hand of Moses and Aaron. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. My heart lifts up with joy to the Lord, for He humbles only to exalt us. My heart exalts in the Lord, my horn is exalted in my God. I have swallowed up my enemies, I rejoice in my victory. There is no holy one like the Lord, there is no rock like our God. Speak boastfully no longer, nor let arrogance issue from your mouths. For an all-knowing God is the Lord, a God who judges deeds. The bows of the mighty are broken, while the tottering gird on strength. The well-fed hire themselves out for bread, while the hungry bought in and spoil. The barren wife bears seven sons, while the mother of many languishes. The Lord puts to death and gives life. He casts down to the netherworld, he raises up again. The Lord makes poor and makes rich. He humbles, he also exalts. He raises the needy from the dust. From the ash heap he lifts up the poor to seed them with nobles and make a glorious throne their heritage. For the pillars of the earth are the Lord's and he has set the world upon them. He will guard the footsteps of his faithful ones, but the wicked shall perish in the darkness. For not by strength does man prevail. The Lord's foes shall be shattered. The Most High in heaven thunders. The Lord judges the ends of the earth. Now may he give strength to his king and exalt the horn of his anointed. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. The Lord is King. Let the earth rejoice. The Lord is King, let earth rejoice, let all the coastlands be glad. Cloud and darkness are His raiment, His throne, justice and right. A fire prepares His path, it burns up His foes on every side. His lightnings light up the world, the earth trembles at the sight. The mountains melt like wax before the Lord of all the earth. The skies proclaim His justice. All people see His glory. Let those who serve idols be ashamed, those who boast of their worthless gods. All you spirits worship Him. Zion hears and is glad. The people of Judah rejoice because of your judgments, O Lord. For you indeed are the Lord, most high above all the earth, 
exalted far above all spirits. The Lord loves those who hate evil. He guards the souls of his saints. He sets them free from the wicked. Light shines forth for the just, and joy for the upright of heart. Rejoice, you just, in the Lord. Give glory to his holy name. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now and will be, forever. Amen. Please stand. Let us pray. Keep your family, O Lord, schooled always in good works, and so comfort them with your protection here, as to lead them graciously to gifts on high. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. Please be seated. A reading from the book of the prophet Jeremiah. The people of Judah and the citizens of Jerusalem said, Come, let us contrive a plot against Jeremiah. It will not mean the loss of instruction from the priests, nor of counsel from the wise, nor of messages from the prophets. And so, let us destroy him by his own tongue. Let us carefully note his every word. Heed me, O Lord, and listen to what my adversaries say. Must good be repaid with evil, that they should dig a pit to take my life. Remember that I stood before you to speak in their behalf, to turn away your wrath from them. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Save me, O Lord, in your kindness. Save me, O Lord, in your kindness. You will free me from the snare they set for me, for you are my refuge. Into your hands I command my spirit. You will redeem me, O Lord, O faithful God. Save me, O Lord, in your kindness. I hear the whispers of the crowd that frighten me from every side, as they consult together against me, plotting to take my life. Save me, O Lord, in your kindness. But my trust is in you, O Lord. I say you are my God. In your hands is my destiny. Rescue me from the clutches of my enemies and my persecutors. Save me, O Lord, in your kindness. Please stand. I am the light of the world, says the Lord. Whoever follows me will have the light of life. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. Glory to you, O Lord. As Jesus was going up to Jerusalem, he took the twelve disciples aside by themselves and said to them on the way, Behold, we are going up to Jerusalem, and the Son of Man will be handed over to the chief priests and the scribes, and they will condemn him to death and hand him over to the Gentiles to be mocked and scourged and crucified, and he will be raised on the third day. Then the mother of the sons of Zebedee approached Jesus with her sons and did him homage, wishing to ask him for something. He said to her, What do you wish? She answered him, Command that these two sons of mine sit, one at your right and the other at your left, in your kingdom. Jesus said in reply, You do not know what you are asking. You can can you drink the chalice that I am going to drink? They said to him, We can. He replied, My chalice will, you will indeed drink, but to sit at my right hand and at my left, this is not mine to give, 
but it is for those for whom it has been prepared by my Father. When the ten heard this, they became indignant at the two brothers. But Jesus summoned them and said, You know that the rulers of the Gentiles lord it over them, and the great ones make their authority over them fail. But it shall not be so among you. Rather, whoever wishes to be great among you shall be your servant. Whoever wishes to be first among you shall be your slave. Just so, the Son of Man did not come to be served, but to be served, but to serve, and to give his life as a ransom for money, for many. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Please be seated. Magandang umaga po sa inyong lahat and welcome to the Minor Basilica of Our Lady of the Rosary of Manawag. Last week, I gave a conference and uh, during, the, during break time, uh, one of the participants came over and then uh, very excited and asked me the usual question that I hear during these days. At ano yung usual question na yon? Sino po ang iboboto ninyo? Perhaps silently, the person is asking, Sino ba ang i-endorse ninyo? Anong sagot ko? Tumahimik lang po ako, and then after a while, I told the person, I educate. Rather than tell you kung sino iboboto ko o mag endorse pag-usapan natin kung ano yung batayan ng pagpili ng iboboto. Alam ko marami ang pagod na pagod na sa mga ganitong usapin. In fact, here we are very careful to talk about it. But the gospel that we read for today, we will be remiss and we will be insulting what we read a while ago if we do not use it and touch it in the light of the uh, forthcoming election. Bakit? Sapagat, today's gospel reading provides us with a solid, solid na batayan that we can use sa ating pagninilay-nilay. Tatlong punto lang po. Una, doon sa Ibanghelyo, inasabi, walang masama na mag-aspire for greatness. Walang masama na mag-aspire na maging dakila. Hindi rin masama na mag-work para maging first. Work hard to be first. However, it is in our understanding kung ano yung greatness on what greatness constitute at kung bakit gusto nating maging number one seems to be the one that is problematic with Jesus. Mukhang doon yung problema niya Hindi dahil sa gusto nating maging dakila o mag-succeed o maging number one, but kundi doon sa bakit magusto mong maging number one. And in the gospel, it is said, it is, not, um, it is not so among you that you will lord it over the people. My dear friends, in the gospel we heard, whoever wishes to be great among you, shall be your servant. Whoever wish to be first among you shall be your slave. In other words, parang sinasabi ng ating Panginoon, greatness or yung pagiging dakila para sa ating Panginoon has little to do with success. It has little to do with reputation and it has little to do with wealth. But it has something to do with our capacity to serve and willingness to put the interest ng least, ng last, at ng lost. Doon ang batayan ng ating Panginoon ayon sa Ibanghelyo ng pagiging dakila at kung bakit gustong gusto natin maging first. You should be first in serving the least, the last, and the lost. Pangalawa, Sino ba dito ang ayaw ma-promote? 
Lahat naman gusto at nag-aaspire ma-promote, lalong-lalo na sa trabaho. In other words, there is nothing wrong with hoping to be promoted to a higher office or placed in a better position. That is why, doon sa binasa nating Ibanghelyo, sino yung lumakad para ipromote yung kanyang dalawang anak? Yung nanay ni James at ni John. But if you listened intently on the gospel, hindi pinagalitan ng ating Panginoon yung nanay. Hindi niya sinabihan na, ikaw, susuhulan mo pa. Ikaw, mali ng pagpupromote mo. No, the nanay will always look for the best interest ng anak. Kaya nga, ang sabi, ang pakiusap nung nanay is that, see to it that one of them would be sitting on your left and another one would be sitting on your right. And when the other people heard it, other disciples and apostles heard it, they were indignant. Ano ba naman to? Hanggang dito, eh tawag nito, merong palakasan. But Jesus did not scold the mother. Kasi nga, the mother will always look at the best interest nung anak. Um, her heart, in a way, is in the right place. But Jesus says that this is not how Christians will be promoted and elevated. Not through election and not through appointment. At ang magandang tanong dito, paano ka ba na-promote sa pamamagitan ng pag-fake news, sa pamamagitan ng paninira ng kapwa, sa pamamagitan ng hindi pagkilala sa mga dapat na mga dapat kilalanin sa pamamagitan ng hindi maayos na paraan it seems that in the gospel Jesus doesn't have a beef or a problem with being promoted ang problema ng ating Panginoon is that how we get and stay in the office pangatlo and this is one thing that is very important. Merong napakahalagang tanong doon sa Ibanghelyo. A question that Jesus asked His apostles and disciples. Importante ito sapagat ang kausap ng ating Panginoon, hindi nanay at hindi yung ibang tao, hindi yung mga pariseo, kundi yung kanya mga disipulo at apostoles na pagkakatiwalaan niya ng misyon niya sa mundo. In other words, these are His leaders. And in that part of the Gospel, Jesus is defining to them and to us what is a leader and how is it to lead. Kaya ano yung tanong? Can you or are you willing to go? Can you drink the chalice or the cup that I am going to drink? At ano itong kalis na ito? Ano tong cup na ito? This symbolizes the suffering and death of our Lord as a servant leader. When He served, this will be the result. When He helped the poor, this will be the impact to Him. At ang tanong niya, kaya nyo? Kaya nyong sundan? My dear friends, those three points can help us in reflecting for a meaningful and at the same time conscientious decision when we we'll choose our leaders. Pero ito maganda. Ang hamon ng Ibanghelyo ay hindi lamang para sa tumatakbo sa halalan. Ulitin ko po ah, ang hamon ng Ibanghelyo is not only for those who are running for public office. Alam nyo kung para saan at para kanino yung hamon ng Ibanghelyo? Para sa lahat. Tumatakbo rin tayo, hindi nga lang sa mga public position. Pero lahat tayo tumatakbo patungo sa buhay na walang hanggan. Sapagkat itong pamantayan na ito ay hindi lang pamantayan para sa mga politiko, pero pamantayan para sa ating lahat. And if the saying that we deserve the people we elect is true, then 
by reflecting on the gospel passage today, we are given an assurance that come election time, our vote will be according to our conscience. Pinag-isipan, pinagnilayan, batay sa ebanghelyong nabasa natin sa araw na ito. In summary, the gospel, in the gospel, the words of Jesus, it is not to be so among you, tells us, una, there is nothing wrong with aspiring for greatness. So what's wrong? It is on what is to be great that is problematic. Pangalawa, it is not about aspiring for promotion or better office. Sino ba naman dito ang ayaw ma-promote? Kundi kung paano mo nakamtan yung promotion na yon at paano ka naluklok sa posisyon na yon. Pangalawa, pangatlo, Jesus is not even condemning power. But in what we do when we are already in power or what we have done all throughout the so many years and even decades of being in power. And lastly, that it is not in service alone, but ito pa, on another level, kung para kanino yung servisyo mo, para si sino ang pinagsisilbihan mo. In who and how we serve. So mga kapatid, magang umaga ano? Sino ang iboboto ninyo? I think the better question is, or the Jesus question is, anong pamantayan mo sa pagpili sa mga iboboto mo? Kindly all stand. Mindful of the words of Jesus that the greatest is the one who serves, we pray to God our Father for a true spirit of service among all people. And let your response be, Lord, make us true servants. Lord, make us true servants. Let the leaders of the church may be true servants, acting with the same concern that Christ showed to his followers. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord make, make us, us true servants. servants. Let government leaders may exercise their power for the good of the people and avoid discord and distrust. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord make, make us true servants. servants. That we may realize that success in God's eyes is not measured by the standards of the world, but by the respect we give to our neighbor. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord make, make us true servants. servants. That those who are sick may realize that their suffering injured in union with Christ, can be turned into a great blessing. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, make, make us two servants. For our Pope, the College of Bishops, parents, relatives, benefactors, and for all those whom we promise to pray, we pray, Lord, hear our prayer. Lord, Lord make us two servants. For the prior provincial of our, and for our brothers and ministry at Bahay Dominico, and St. Mary Magdalene, we pray, Lord, hear our prayer. Lord, hear us. our prayer. For the intentions of the devotees and pilgrims of Our Lady of the Holy Rosary of Manawag, and for our personal intentions. We pray, Lord, hear our prayer. Lord, hear our prayer that the dead may reap the rewards of their earthly sufferings in eternal life. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord make us Lord. true servants. Please join me in praying for all those who have asked that their prayers be prayed here at the Minor Basilica of Our Lady of the Rosary of Manawag through the Dominican community, that their prayers may be heard according to God's will and through the intercession of Our Lady of the Rosary of Manawag, we pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord make us two servants. Heavenly Father, help us to serve each other by imitating your Son, 
who laid down his life for us, we ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. Please be seated. Blessed are you, Lord, God of our creation, for through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you, fruit of the earth, work of human hands, it will become for us the bread of life. Blessed be God forever. Blessed are you, Lord, God of our creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you, fruit of the vine, work of human hands, it will become our spiritual drink. Blessed be God forever. Please stand. Pray, my dear friends, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and the good of all his holy church. Look with favor, Lord, on the sacrificial gifts we offer you, and by this holy exchange unto the bonds of our sins, through Christ our Lord, Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is really right and just our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks. Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, for you have given your children a sac sacred time for the renewing and purifying of their hearts, that freed from disordered affections, they may so deal with the things of this passing world as to hold rather to the things that eternally endure. And so with all the angels and saints, we praise you as without end we acclaim. You are indeed only, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. May call it therefore these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks, broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take these, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples saying, take these, all of you, and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many, for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me.
the mystery of faith. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you've held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, Socrates, our Archbishop, Fidelis, our Auxiliary Bishop, Gerard, the Master of the Order of Preachers, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of Christ, with the Blessed Apostles, and all the saints who have preached you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him, and with him, and in him, O God Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Stand. At the Savior's command and formed by divine teaching, we dare to pray. Our Father, Our Father who art, art in heaven, heaven, hallowed be thy Lord. name. Thy, thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. heaven. Give, Give us this day our daily bread, bread and, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And, and lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin, and save from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to the apostles, Peace I live you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant our peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us offer each other the sign of peace. 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 Peace be with you. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Grant us peace. Please kneel. My dear friends, my dear brothers and sisters in Christ, behold our Lord Jesus Christ, the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof. But only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. The body and blood of Christ bring to everlasting life.
prayer for the elections. Let us pray for the forthcoming elections may truly reflect the will of the Lord who guides the destinies of nations. Let us pray together, deliver us, Lord. Deliver us, Lord. From coercion, violence, and terrorism. Deliver us, Lord. From dishonesty, lies, and all distortion of truth. Deliver us, Lord. From bribery, graft, and all conspiracy for fraud. Deliver us, Lord. From threats, intimidation, and perverse language. Deliver us, Lord. Let us pray together, hear us, Lord. Hear us, Lord. That conscience may always be our ultimate norm. Hear us, Lord. That the common good may always be our highest goal. Hear us, Lord. That human dignity may be respected all the time. Hear us, Lord, that the poor and the weak may always have the priority. Hear us, Lord, that genuine fear of God and love of neighbors may guide those who seek public office. Hear us, Lord. Let us pray, Shepherd of souls and Savior of the nations, politics is your gift to us, a call to serve others. May our political engagement for voters and candidates bring glory to your loving name and help us grow in holiness forever and ever. Amen. Amen. Please stand. The Son of Man did not come to be served, but to serve, and to give his life as a ransom for many. Blessed be the Lord, the God of Israel. He has, he has come, come to his, his people, people and set, set them free. He has, he has raised up for us a mighty Savior, mighty Savior born of the house of his servant David. David. Through his holy prophets, the promise of old that he would save us from our enemies, from the hands of all who hate us. He promised to show mercy to our fathers and to remember his holy covenant. This was the oath he swore to our father Abraham to set us free from the hands of our enemies, free to worship him without fear, holy and righteous in his sight all the days of our life. You, my child, shall be called the prophet of the Most High. For you, For you will go before, before the Lord to prepare his way, to give his people knowledge of salvation by the forgiveness of their sins. In the tender compassion of our God, the dawn from on high shall break upon us to shine in those who dwell in darkness and the shadow of death and to guide our feet into the way of peace. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now and will be forever. Amen. The, the Son of Man did not come to be served, but, but to serve, and to give his life as a ransom for many. Let us pray. Grant, we pray, O Lord, our God, that, we, that you have given us the pledge of immortality may work for our eternal salvation through Christ our Lord. Amen. Please be seated. Dear devotees of Our Lady of Manawag, the Summer Feast of Our Lady of the Rosary of Manawag will be on May 4, 2022, the third Wednesday after Easter Sunday. The Novena Masses will be scheduled at 6 a.m., 7.30 a.m., 9 a.m., 10.30 a.m., 12 noon, and 4.30 p.m. from April 25 to May 3, 2022. Additional Mass at 3 p.m. on May 1, Sunday. We invite you to participate in these Novena Masses. If you wish to sponsor one or several Masses, you may fill out the form at the counters for Masses area and submit it with your donation, where you will be provided with an acknowledgement receipt. Or you may visit our website, www.manawagminorbasilica.org, for the online PAMISA, all names of donors and sponsors will appear in the Electronic Souvenir Program. Thank you very much for, for your continued support. God bless you. Please stand. Before I give the final blessing, uh, isa pa pong announcement. Every day po except Sunday, meron pong confession dito sa Minor Basilica of Our Lady of the Rosary of Manawag, dyan po, andyan yung mga confessional boxes. 
I know maraming pumupunta dito for pilgrimages, but also you may avail the opportunity to go and receive the sacrament of reconciliation habang andi dito po kayo. Every day po yan, 7.30 to 8.30 in the morning, uh, Mondays to Saturdays po. The Lord be with you and with your spirit. And may the Almighty God bless you all, the Father, the Son, the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Mass is ended. Go in peace to love and serve the Lord through one another. Thanks, Thanks be, be to God. God. Let us now say the prayer for the blessing ng mga may sakit and to be followed by the blessing of your religious articles. Our help is in the name of the Lord, who made heaven and earth. God, our Almighty Father, by your blessing, you give us strength and support in our frailty. Turn with kindness toward our sick brothers and sisters. Free them from all illness and restore them to good health through the intercession of Our Lady of the Rosary of Manawag, so that in the sure knowledge of your goodness, they will gratefully bless your holy name. We ask this to Christ our Lord. Amen. Para sa inyong religious articles, basbasan natin. In memory of the mysteries of the life, death, and resurrection of our Lord Jesus Christ, and to the honor and glory of the Blessed Virgin Mary, Our Lady of the Rosary of Manawag, may these rosaries, images, candles, and all and other religious articles be blessed and made holy. In the name of the Father, the Son, the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen.